So I'm bulking up my door casings by simply adding a casing that transitions well with the existing casing. This is just the typical builder grade casing and it's slightly rounded. So I found an additional casing that looks good together. And that looks really good together once this is caulked and this is painted the same color. Now what I do is set my first piece in place and take a sharp pencil and just mark the top of the door. And then I make a note, this piece is going to be mitered from this direction out. So I'll make a pencil mark. So by the time I get to my saw, I don't forget. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut both of these pieces at one time. My floors are currently unfinished, so I'm using a scrap of the flooring that I'll be installing underneath these casings so that I don't have to go back and trim the casings later when I'm installing the floors. So I cut the mitered edges on both of the side pieces and then cut the left miter on the top piece and check it with my left side piece. I ended up having to trim down my side piece a little bit more. Too long is way better than too short because you can always trim a little bit more off if you need to, which is better than having to start over with a brand new piece. Once I was happy with that left joint, I marked and cut the right side on the top piece. Once I had all three of my pieces cut, I put them all in place, rechecked the joints, and then started nailing the pieces in place. It's amazing how sometimes the pieces magically change on you and your joints aren't as tight as you thought they were. So I like to have everything cut before I start nailing. So I nail the second casing into place, although there's only a couple places where I'm actually hitting a stud. So I rely mainly on caulk as an adhesive. It serves a visual purpose and also a functional purpose as it glues the casing to the wall and to the first molding. So I caulk the seam between the new casing in the wall and then in between the seam between the old and new casing. I fill all the nail holes and my joints with wood putty and then clean it up with sandpaper. And then I take some time to vacuum up all of the dust on and around the door casing before I start in with some primer and paint. And then it's time to paint. And if you're like me, in that process, you'll find 10 more areas where you need to do a little better sanding, add a little more wood putty, and whether or not you do take the time to go back and do those things and then repaint, that's up to you. And I'm not even gonna tell you whether I do or not. I think you know the answer anyway. So, that's it. I'm planning on coming back with my sprayer to paint these so they're only primed right now and you can still see a little color variation. So once they're painted they'll look more seamless and more like just one big chunky trim. For comparison here's an in progress still shot of the two casings. On the left the window I've already bulked out with the second molding and on the right the door is the three inch builder grade casing that was already there before I added the second casing. So it's a pretty drastic change and a really easy process. Thanks for watching. I'm going to keep working away in this loft and I'll see you next time.